I will now discuss the events portion of the admin portal. To get to the events portion, you can either select menu, events, or just the events button on the home screen. Now that you are in the manage calendars section of the app, you can see that there are four different calendars for this school. There are also two different kinds of calendars within these four calendars. The two with links are considered iCals. These iCals have been pulled from the school's websites or Google calendars and are automatically synced up every night and updated. So if you were to make a change on your iCal, it can automatically change within the app. The other kind of app calendar is the manual calendar. The manual calendar has events in it, but all the events were put in by hand. First, I'll discuss how to add a calendar. To add a calendar, you press the plus sign and give your calendar a title. If you were to provide an iCal, this is where you would put the link, and then you press save. But since this is a manual calendar, I'm going to ignore the iCal URL button and just press save. Now the calendar shows up right here. If you need to edit a calendar, like the calendar title or thumbnail, you would press edit and you can edit it by adding different spelling or changing the thumbnail or disabling it so it doesn't show up in the app and then press save. Now to delete a calendar you just press the X and press OK. Now you want to get back to the Manage Calendar screen and we can take a look within the calendar. You cannot look inside of iCals. The only thing you can do if you look inside of the iCal is run the iCal engine itself. So you can run it so it refreshes. If you can't wait till evening and you want it to refresh then, that's how you run the iCal. But if you'd like to view inside of a manual calendar, you can press the eyeball and now you can see events that have been added. To add a new event, you just select the plus sign, add an event name, okay, and then if you need a description, you can add it, but that's not required. You need to select an event start and end time. You need to select the date that it's going to occur, the, date, the time that it will end, or begin, I'm sorry, begin first, and then select an end time, end date, you also need to select a, a location. And then if any of these to the right apply to you, you need to select them. If you would like the location ignored, you can just select that box. If you, the event is an all-day event, you can select that. If the TBA event time, if the time has not been set, you can select that. Or if you would not like the event to show up at all in the app, you can select disabled. Once everything is as you like it, you can select save. If you would like to add a similar event, you can press Add Similar. And then let's say there's a volleyball game against the same team, but it is a few days ahead of time. So you change all the necessary things. that pertain to that game. Change if it's at a different school. And if any of those buttons apply to you now, you can select those. If not, you can just leave them and then press save. If you need to edit an event, you can select edit. You can also edit the time or date and then press save. If you would like to delete an event, you just press delete. And that is everything you need to know about calendars and events.